If he told me I was at this position back in like fifth grade, I wouldn't have believed it. Come on, go, 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 go! A melting pot at an ice arena might sound like a contradiction. That's because the voices you hear go, go. and the faces you see are mostly the same. But take off the mask and you'll meet May. May looks different. I like being different. And sounds different. Yeah, I guess my experiences are different. And wants to get the word out. Woo! No mercy. But for 13-year-old May Ali Glanzer, oh Hi, I'm May Ali. Words have always been hard. I think hockey. We could tell from the beginning her speech was something she was struggling with. Hi. I've taken speech therapy since I was three years old and just trying to keep walking on, getting the sounds that I want to say out correctly. To understand May's speech impediment, you have to understand her childhood. We were adopting two little girls from Uganda. The first time we met May was in a picture. A picture that at the time spoke louder than May's words. When she first came home, her speech was pretty unintelligible. She only knew Luganda, didn't know English. This is May's mom, Carrie. Always struggling with producing specific consonant combinations and different things. Her vocabulary pretty much impossible. To understand May, you have to understand what she's been through. We learned very quickly, like she had never been to a restaurant. She had never ridden in a car until we got there. So all those things were very new, different things for her to experience. It was kind of like, this is my playground that I'm gonna run around in. But 10 years later, May's found a different playground from an adoption home in Uganda to a home on the ice. Yeah, all I remember is I didn't want to do figure skating and I really wanted to do hockey. And through hockey, she's also found her voice. With COVID hitting, people needed voices to step up and raise awareness of things that aren't right. I feel like it's COVID's kind of pushed me to step out of like the shadows and kind of say, hey, we need to do this. We should go and make a difference. May has made it her mission to get more kids of color playing hockey. We hope to inspire a spark in them to come out and try this sport. She knows what it's like to feel isolated on the ice. It's not a lot of girls that play boys hockey and there's not a lot of African American kids that play hockey. Being a black girl made it a little bit hard to prove myself. When we go to tournaments around the country, it's very common male look at me and be like, I'm the only one of color here. And I always say, okay, so you're the first one but you show that girl who's sitting in the stands that she can too. She can too is a great way to describe May's other mission. Bring a women's pro hockey team to Seattle and watch what it does for the next generation of hockey players. Now Tanev in front, he scores! We got the crack and we all look up to them as idols. If girls can look up to some women here in Seattle, I think we'll get more girls to play and more people interested in women's sports. Women's Pro Hockey Seattle has made her a spokesperson for their organization, alongside former Olympian Kelly Stevens Tis. This year's advantage. May's message growing so strong. May Ali She was honored at the Sports Star of the Year Awards. A 13-year-old from Uganda with a speech impediment is now doing this. I would like to thank black women hockey players who will come before me as my role models. My husband and I were in tears. This is a kid who, when she tried to communicate when she came home, none of us understood a word. I feel like this sport has prepared me to take on any challenges I may face. She's standing up in front of a room of thousands of people giving a speech, and it's just like, <laughs> you just sit there and you're speechless. I never could have imagined this is where I would take her, ever. May's journey has given her meaning. She just has taught me you use your voice. It's just not me talking, it's how I move on the ice, it's what I do on the ice. That's helped me communicate to other people that I can do this. Make the ice a melting pot. So that kind of inspires me to keep going. Make the faces seen oh! and the voices heard. Does that make sense? In Bellingham. Yeah. Jake Garcia. Okay, let's go. King Five Sports.